Good day, kind folk of the United States. Oh, wait. We're like worldwide now. Peeps of the world. I wanted to talk about the Malvado. The first dude who I showed the blade to goes, man, that's wicked. So I asked the camera wife who speaks Spanish, what is Spanish for wicked? And she said, I'm not really sure. So I Googled it and then I told her that. And it's a close translation to wicked. Well, I don't know what was it exactly. Evil or something like that. Anyway, she's just like, you're dumb and you're saying made up words. If it's not a word, it still sounds malvado. Mm -hmm. Wicked. Look at this. That's the Malvado, right? So it is a completely skeleton blade. The other ones I'll show you in a second. So I know it may look weird, but this shape, one, I thought it looked like a grenade and my grenade grips, you know, military cool stuff. It is the shaping of your palming so that you can be sticking. Does that make sense? So it's, it may not be beautiful and it's got a real small, I don't know, what is that word? <laughs> I forgot, I'm stupid. I ate a bunch of drugs this morning. Mm -mm, I don't do that. Anyway, you wanna stay off the blade. So I wanted the swell on the palm to keep you on the blade. And you've also got the big thumb wrist. So these are not designed to keep you off the blade. This is really more of a, a stop. <laughs> you don't go all the way through stuff, but this is grenade shaped and this texture's in here and look we leave and this is the same for the night stalker the night huntsman and all the nightshade series i leave this texture on here not because i'm freaking lazy or quality is suffering this gives you texture more of a grip it's not an accident and another uh friend of mine now steven he said you should tell people about that so they don't think that you're sorry as hell so there you go steven i told somebody this is not a face. You know, oh, let's talk about the grind. It's the same grind as the nightshades, right? So it's a solid angle. So this thing is made to, I mean, it is sharp. This is not a prying type of weapon. It is a super slim line case, very thin, not a work tool. This is a, it's a sticker. You understand what I'm saying? Maybe we won't get banned for that, but people always look for double-edged stuff. And this is, I mean, I don't know. It weighs an ounce or two. It is super light. So it's not balanced for throwing and sticking in trees. It doesn't have enough weight behind it. It is a, and it does too, man. One of my friends bought one for his kid and he had to dull it down because they were like stabbing boxes. And then they're like, holy crap. The resistance is very low because the entire blade you might think this is for looks, but it's not. It's to lighten this blade up. It's, it's not for bloodletting, but it would function for that pretty damn well. This thing is nasty or wicked. The Malvado, 125 thick, 1095. It is in the nickel boron battle worn finish. They have that really tough texture that I'm not telling you how I do that. But look, same case style setup. This thing, it's super duper slimline. It is a concealment guy. It's got these if you want to put it on your belt. You can do necklace carry. You can stick it in your boot. But I usually carry this when I do carry. And yeah, I carry all this stuff around. Look at this. I carry it with, I mean, for real? Look. Can't see it. At all. It's lightweight though, peeps. It's not a prying tool. It is a face removal device which I've become famous for and guess what else there is <laughs> look at that so these holes that you see in this are not to make it a stupid cheesy smiley face it ended up that way but it's not see that so you lace your paracord th man I'm off you lace your paracord through there that I can't think of words like Ooh, paracord. So you can tie paracord so it gives you a little bit more comfortable of a grip, more substantial grip if a low print is not as much of a concern for you. And it really is comfortable. I've not ever even tied one of these because they just don't get any visibility. I've only sold a handful of these because I've never freaking talked about them. 
The Malvadas? The Malvada. I'm literally like three. Yeah, but the people that have seen them really like he, them. Yes, every time I take them out in person, people are like, what is that? Yeah, yeah. But I've, I run out of time because you folk are buying a lot of stuff. Thanks again. But, so that's the Malvado with the paracord wrap. And I can show you instructions on how to do it. We can ship them with it. I just needed to talk about that. And there's also, if you wanted to do just this little doodad on the end, right? So kind of a combo. All or nothing. And another really freaking rad thing that was an accident about these. You can't hear it, I don't think. It's got a, it's like a freaking tuning fork. If you tap, it's like, ah, or more of a, <laughs> that's as high as I can get. But, so, if you're slicing stuff up. I figured it out the first time I set it on the desk and it was like, mm -hmm. it's neat. So like that old school medieval, hey, the bird. Shing! That's the real me, people. That's not an act. Moving stuff and birds and like, <laughs> and if you think my Instagram video was a put on for Instagram yesterday, I literally will walk into the kitchen most days out of seven and look at my wife and be like, what do you think about this? <laughs> it's <laughs> true. Because it's true. Yeah, I mean, you're exactly like how you are in real it's life. It's not a put on. <laughs> this is exactly We'll be driving down the road and I'm like, <laughs> and I can't dance. I'm just stoops. That's my word too. Stoops. Yeah, that's the awesome Malvado man. That's the awesome Malvado dance. That was it. No, I said man, because I can help you wrap this thing up. Oh, he's rambling. Malvado. That's it. And you don't get three with every order. You get un, and you can carry it three ways. Bye.